In this GoPro tips and tricks video, we're going to be mounting the Peak Design Capture and POV kit onto a ski boot. This mount provides a really cool shot that looks absolutely awesome. If you find that your video footage from this shot is a little bit uh, too shaky, you can slow it down. Um, I like to shoot at a very high frame rate, use 720p, 120 frames per second, and then slow that video down to about 15% and your shots will look absolutely awesome. It's a really cool shot if you're going through powder and you get some, some uh, video of just these wafts of snow coming up and hitting the camera, the shots look absolutely incredible. To do this mount, we're gonna undo the power strap on the boot. You would wanna do this mount once you've already wearing the boot and preferably have someone else put the camera in front of you. Putting this mount on yourself is a little bit difficult. I like to use the uh, vibration pad the support pad behind the power strap. Um, I find this helps. However, I don't believe it is as necessary here as it is while backpack mounting. With that behind there, we're also gonna put the capture uh, base plate behind it now too. So we're gonna put those two things behind there and then we're going to do up the power strap. Now, in doing up the power strap, we're also gonna make sure that we keep the mount in this front as well as the pad. All right, now we haven't done the capture up yet, so once we have the power strap tight, we're gonna do it up. Now our boot's fully done up again, then we're gonna do up our capture. Again, we're gonna do up each bolt at the same time, swapping, and if we're gonna do them one at a time, we're gonna swap between which one we're doing up to ensure that we evenly load the mount. Once the capture plate is on there tight, we can bring our GoPro on. I like to mount mine upside down. That ensures that I have the ability to bring the camera up, which will make sure that I don't capture too much of my ski and I get a little bit of sky into my shot too, which will give me a perspective of where I'm going. Once the camera's mounted, we're gonna use that tension bolt to tighten down the mount and ensure that there is no vibration in the mount. When we're ready to remove our camera, we can just unscrew this, pop the red button to remove the camera, and our KO Pro will slide off. Overall, guys, this is a really cool shot and it makes for a great integration edit uh, piece to put into your edit. So it can be a little like 10 or 15 second clip, maybe a five second clip, you can put in your edits and it looks really cool. If you guys are interested in looking at these Peak Design mounts, you can check out their website. It's linked in the video description. Also, if you're going to be purchasing one of them, there's a discount code, which is GoPro Tips. If you use that, you will get 10% off all of their mounts, as long as I think you spend $19.95 or something or more. So, a uh, good deal there for you guys if you are looking at getting one of these. They were nice enough to set that up for me. Until next time, guys, thanks for watching. This is another GoPro Tips and Tricks video. If you've enjoyed it, please make sure you subscribe, check out my channel for lots more videos, and like the video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I will be sure to read them and respond. And if you have anything more urgent or pressing than a comment, you can go on over and post on the GoPro Tips Facebook page, and there's a lot of interaction going on over there.